everybody, it's Zach again at NewTutor.com. I wanted to come and make a quick video. I just today got my gold cards, my one-tenth of a gram gold cards from ShireSilver.com. I ordered these last week and I uh, finally got them today. They are one-tenth of a gram, one-tenth of a gram gold cards. And what ShireSilver.com does is they take gold, a gold wire, uh, they measure it out at certain measurements or certain weights, and then they embed it right into the card. And let me see if I can get that there and let it focus. There we go, right there. So it's focused one tenth of a gram of gold, 999 fine gold. And there's the wire running right through the window. You see it right there. Dun, dun, dun. There it is. There's that gold. It's a gold wire, 999 fine, one tenth of a gram. And these, when you do that, you put it into one-tenth of a gram or half a gram, you can get different cards, even half twentieth of a gram of gold. Uh, but you get the half gram, which is a lot more. Uh, it's about five wires uh, that are embedded in here. And that makes it more tradable. Because if you go in with one-tenth of an ounce, I mean, you're talking about a $260 coin or a $200 coin or a quarter of an ounce or, or a half an ounce of gold. That's not very tradable. Even a full ounce of silver, you know, is not very tradable. But you can go to this company here, and they will give you a half a gram or a gram of silver or um, a half a gram of gold or a tenth of a gram of gold. And that makes it, you know, with that little bit of an am amount, that makes it a lot more tradable. So this is actually a worth about, this one card is worth about $8.00. Um, depending on the market fluctuations, um, if it goes up, you know, eight to ten dollars, roughly, I think is about what it's worth. And um, you can always go to their website, and they have the MSRPs posted of what that card is worth that day. The day uh, the cards change on a daily basis, based on you know what the market value is. So I've got four of those. I spent about eight dollars each, I think, on each one of them when the market uh, what, what it was worth that day when I purchased it online. And they do uh, a whole bunch of different um, uh, weights in their cards, and they embed the, the, the metal right in the card, and then it kind of makes it tradable. It fits easily in the wallet. Anyway, it was just a great idea. I thought it was neat, and so I ordered four of them just to check them out and do a video review. I, I like them. I'm going to order some more. I think I'm going to get a few half-gram uh, cards, half-gram gold, and I'm going to order me some, some silver cards as well. But it just makes it in a fashion that's a little more easily tradable. Either way, at the very least, you're taking your stupid federal worthless reserve notes and you're putting them in actual precious metals. Um, somebody asked once, well, how would I get the, the wire out of the card? I mean, if I took this into a jeweler and I wanted to trade it in for cash, you know, how would I do that? I mean, the jeweler might not recognize the card and is not going to give me any money for it. Easy. All you do is take a lighter, and they showed this on, on uh, YouTube. Somebody else did a video. You take a lighter, you burn the edge of it, you pull out the wire, and you, you turn it in, and there's your gold. It's that simple. And uh, the guy basically offers, hey, anyone, feel free to do a test on it. This is actual real gold uh, and real silver that he puts in these cards, and he welcomes anybody to test out his product. Um, I believe him. I've seen other people who uh, on YouTube who have tested out the product. I believe he's real, and he believed that uh, he is uh, he's genuine, and so I went ahead and bought some of the cards, and uh, it seems like this is an idea that's catching on, uh, making gold and silver into an easily tradable denomination that you can use and barter and trade. So anyway, check it out, Shire, ShireSilver.com. I thought it was a great product, a great idea. I'm going to put some more of my worthless Federal Reserve notes into metals and, and things like this. I uh, just recommend you do the same. You have very, very precious time left uh, to do so. Our economy <laughs> uh, is, is crumbling as we speak, and it's crumbling because we have gotten away from what the Bible, from what the Torah says is dishonest weights and measures. We have gone to dishonest weights and measures and gotten away from the honest weights and measures, which is what the Bible calls real gold and silver, commodities, things that are actually worth money. And the things today we're, we're saying is worth money, this paper stuff, it's worthless, folks. It's backed by a government that's worthless. It doesn't back it up with anything other than its good word. And this government's good word is not worth anything today. So we need to get back to what the Torah says is, is honest weights and measures, and it says if you do so, you will live a long and happy life because you're using what, what God created to be money. 
You know, this is, it's listed. The first time gold and silver is, is used in the Bible is, or in the Torah is in Genesis 13. And it says that Abraham had a lot of it. He knew what honest weights and measures were, and it goes on to describe what honest weights and measures were or are in the Torah. And so um, we've gotten away from that. It's time we get back. Uh, no matter if you're buying silver rounds or if you're buying shire silver or, or whatever you're buying, it's time to get back into what the Bible calls is honest weights and measures. All right, that's it from New 2 Torah. I hope you have a good week. hope you had a good Shabbat. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Go home. Read your Bible.